Silence. Serge, I'm so proud of you, bro. You've been working on your game since you were six years old. I taught you all your moves, man. Absolutely. <laughs> Jackie, baby girl, you're so beautiful. Not once around here have you gave me any problems. Like as a family. I heard about your game last night. Should have been there. We came a long way. Oh. Look, hard work pays off. Hey. You're June's sister, right? Yeah, that's me. You ain't gonna believe who drove me home. That boy, Chris. Chris who? You got a boyfriend? They all act like they're scared of June. Hey, what's up, Mr. June? I've been looking for you. Sure, well, ain't hard to find. Yeah. Let me explain Let's to you go. how it's gonna go now. From now on, this our neighborhood. There's a war going on right now. Now, y'all gotta listen to me. I know what I'm saying. You not my father. Let me tell you something about my brother. He'll do anything for you. But as soon as you piss him off, you got big problems. Look, I don't care. Whatever y'all had is over. You need to go. God has a way of settling things. We're in the building once again, another you show. Know. You know what I mean? We, you know, the film freaks are born and raised in Philadelphia. West Philadelphia, matter of fact. West Philadelphia, born, born and, and raised. raised. <laughs> <laughs> so, we always out and about in Philly, and people always see us and say, yo, you know what I mean? Why don't y'all do a show dedicated to the Philadelphia films? You know what I mean? So, this is for you. This is for you. you y'all just saw this the is trailer. For us as well. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all just saw the trailer for Brotherly Love. Which I must say is a very dope flick. I've seen it twice in the flicks. Twice man. in the flicks, this guy. So, you know what I mean? He paid twice. Jamal Hill directed and written. Beautiful job, bro. Uh, Kiki Palmer. Kiki Palmer. Quincy, Quincy Brown. Brown. Puffy yeah. Son. Yeah, better yeah, known yeah, as Puffy yeah, Son. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> dope flick, man. If y'all, y'all in the out and about. I don't know if it's still in the theaters or not, but if, it, if it's still in the theaters, check it out. But if when it drops, make sure you go check it. Make sure you put. <laughs> <laughs> so we we out here just showing man love to all of the Philadelphia films and films that were not not based in Philadelphia but were right. filmed in Philadelphia. Cause people, I, I know y'all waiting around to see state property. That wasn't filmed. But it wasn't filmed in Philly. That's I love Canada I love Siegel. Yeah. I love Siegel. Shout out to the prop. Shout out to the prop. Chain gang. You know what I mean? But it wasn't filmed in Philadelphia. They These do films that, were filmed in Philadelphia with real Philadelphia landmarks. Right. So the first. For the second film that we're going to show y'all is Trading Places. So check out the trailer for Trading Places and the film freaks will be right back. The most absurd nightmare. I was poor and no one liked me. I know what you're thinking. You see Poggy and Ben? We can make it, baby. Me and you. Dan Aykroyd and Eddie Murphy are Trading Places. Oh, help! Hey, I don't want your bag, man. Help! 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 I'll bet that that man could run our company as well as your young Woodthorpe. Are we talking about a wager, Randolph? Is there a problem, officer? Oh, Woodthorpe. I'm glad your parents are not alive to see this. What? What? No, what wait, now this is totally preposterous. I'm not a thief. Here we are, William. Take off your clothes. You are making a career decision here. Take off your clothes. Did you hear what this man said to me? Now, I have witnesses. This man is physically threatening me. Hey, Randy, Morty, this is nice. I like this. We are commodities brokers, William. Commodities are agricultural products, like wheat, which is used to make bread, pork bellies, which is used to make bacon, 
which you might find in a bacon and lettuce and tomato sandwich. I'm considering going long on April wheat. What do you think, Valentine? Freeze, slime ball! Moi? Put that gun away at once, Winthorpe. You lost your mind? <laughs> Dan Aykroyd, Eddie Murphy. They're not just getting rich, they're getting even. Do you have any better ideas? Yeah, you know, it occurs to me that the best way you hurt rich people is by turning them into poor people. Dan Aykroyd. <laughs> Eddie Murphy. <laughs> Ralph Bellamy. We've got to get Wilson and turn up the sale. Donna Michi. Randolph, this isn't Monopoly money we're playing with. Denim Elliott. What a scumbag. And Jamie Lee Curtis. By the way, food and rent, not the only things around here that cost money. You sleep on the couch. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Trading Places yes. has a really, really deep place in my heart, man. The, the, really because of the opening of the fucking movie. You know oh, what I mean? Because it's all Philly shots. It's shot. all Philly shots. Yo, shot. they actually showed the, 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 the giant sneak store where I put my first pair of sneakers. My yeah. mom got me my first pair of sneakers from giant sneakers. Store. On the deuce. Yeah, That's 52nd Street. Nah, nah, that was Lancaster Avenue. Damn, that 40 was Lancaster, Lancaster Avenue. 40th from Lancaster. See, you know I'm what I mean? I still got my hair cut up there. You know what I mean? <laughs> What you talking about? Shout out to my man Mo, you know what I mean? <laughs> so that was Trading Places, directed by John Landis, right. starring Dan Aykroyd, starring Eddie, Eddie Murphy. Murphy. Uh, that was uh, Jamie Lee Curtis. Jamie Lee Curtis with the, with the boobs. That was one of my favorite scenes from so that place, bro. That's one of all, all of us favorite movies. Right. Now, I gotta shout out Ralph Bellamy and Don Amici because oh, them yeah, the two old heads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Duke brothers. The Duke brothers. The Duke brothers. You know what I mean? So that was definitely a dope flick, man. Definitely something to check. A lot of Philly landmarks. Man, Love all Philly land. They, they show Boathouse Road. They show uh, 30th Street Station. Yo, they got College. Yo, they got Masterman. Yo, 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 They show a lot of Philadelphia landmarks in this joint. And um, Eddie Murphy uh, uh, um, um, admitted you talking about the stock exchange scene. Yeah, yeah. They they, they took so, what, what all the you know I was doing the orange juice shit in the flick. They took that and made it into an actual rule, like on some insider trading and shit. Like yeah, they call it yeah, the Eddie yeah, Murphy rule. Yeah, yeah, you can't yeah, be up yeah, on the knowledge. Yeah, you know what I'm the saying? The original title of this is supposed to be black and white. But and that would have fit. That would have fit, but I love trading places. Trading places. Trading places. And man. it was supposed to originally be Richard Pryor and Gene Wilder. Yeah, 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 the, yeah, yeah. They were they the double, double up team. Dude, you know what right. I mean? So that was that. Um, don't flick. If you didn't, I know you caught it. No. It's but a Christmas yeah. class. Yeah, yeah. It's a yeah, Christmas yeah. class. Clarence, Clarence beat. <laughs> Anybody moving the whore gets it, gets it, gets it in the kidneys. Something he said, yo, Clarence Beaks was all that, man. So shout out to Eddie Murphy, shout out to Dan Aykroyd, shout out to Clarence Beaks. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, He's still in the bird, he's got in the yeah, costume. Yeah, the man yeah, in the yeah, damn right. So the next John is uh, we're gonna do uh, something that you might not have saw. Uh -huh. Some flick that you might not have saw. We're gonna go into the trailer. Uh, it's old school though. Yeah, from the 80s. Blowout. Yes. So check out the trailer for Blowout. And we down here about to catch up. Catch Stand up, up at Stand the up. movie. We at the Pearl part, Theater. Yeah, it's not part two, but it's our second this time. This is our down second here. time doing a show down here. So check out the trailer for Blowout. And the film freaks will be right back. Yes. It began with a sound that no one was ever supposed to hear. He's the one who saw it? Yes, he says he pulled the girl out of the car. And I would like you to forget about her. Yeah, that's what I heard just before the tire blew out. You're right, it was a shot. He recorded a murder. They say it never happened. Now, there's still loose ends. Witnesses. The girl, I've decided to terminate her. Terminate her. Terminate her.
know. <laughs> that, was blow, that was blowout. Ryan food joint right there. 1981 blowout. Ryan De Palmer, right. John Travolta, Nancy Allen, John. Let's go. Yes. Yo, awesome man. A lot of people don't know about this. Film. I didn't really know about the people from you. Yo, this you. was the very first film that Ryan De Palmer used to study came. That's, that's how throwback this is. Super throwback. Yeah, I mean, uh, um, like, uh, they did a lot of shooting at uh, Burger Street Station. Uh, uh, because they did a lot of shooting. Okay. This is a deep rooted Philly film film. You know what I mean? Something you definitely got. I know you didn't check it out. I know you're sitting there scratching your head like, what the fuck is blowout? You, know you wouldn't even know it was shot in Philly just from the box alone or yeah. the cover of the Yeah, show. yeah, but it's definitely something dope to check out. Uh, um, John Travolta had insomnia during the filming of this, so that created his like about this whole film. So that was an was authentic shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. to our house with this gun of the hand you bring fear to this house everyone has an idea about you and the Englishman they're looking for you <laughs> I have done nothing against the rule of the ordinary nothing maybe not yet we know where you are Harrison Ford and Kelly McGillis Witness. That was a uh, 1985's Witness. That was a whole school class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was dope, though, man. This was a Harrison Ford classic right here. We start uh, Harrison Ford, uh, Kelly McGillis, yeah. Lucas Haas, a young Lucas Haas. Yeah, yeah, young boy. Yeah, yeah. Little yeah, homie, yeah. you know what I mean? Danny Glover was also Yeah, a little part in that, Joe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this is dope, man. This was nominated for eight Academy Awards. Okay. One, two. All right. And I mean, uh, best original screenplay, best editing. It was, it was an awesome. I like. I don't know if you last time. So it's a little part where um, where I'm not gonna spoil anything for y'all. Where Harrison Ford is up there and he's hiding out and he gets into these street tubs and he punches the little guy and the, and the Amish come This isn't our way. Yeah, but it's my way. So he. <laughs> He, he, he went all like uh, uh, Indiana Jones on the boy, you know what I mean? It was dope, man. There's no part about Harrison Ford. This is the only time he got nominated for a Best Actor show. Really? With the two all the Star Wars. Yeah, and yeah. Indiana, Indiana Jones. This is the only time he got nominated for Best Actor. But this was an absolutely good flick. And it was take, it was filmed. A lot of scenes that were filmed in upstate Pennsylvania. Right. But a whole Irish lot of scenes country and all was filmed that. right here in, 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 the, in, the, in the shit. City of Brotherly Love. City of Brotherly Love. You know what I mean? Definitely don't check out. You're gonna love it. You know what I mean? If you didn't check it out, check it out. You know what I mean? Along with Trade Places, along with uh, Brotherly Love. You know what I mean? What's the next one? Since we downtown, we might as well just go to the other downtown jump off. Mannequin. Mannequin. Check out the trailer for Mannequin in the film Freaks. We'll be right back. We're gonna stand up at the movies. We'll stand up at the movies. Okay, Jonathan Switcher. Punk sex. Loves to talk to his work. 
You know, you're the first thing that I've created that made me feel like an artist. Don't you like your new scarf? He never expected. Not especially. To hear it talk back. I really think I'm going crazy. I am so glad you're working here. I never thought they'd hire anyone stranger than me. You're the only one who could see me like this. To the rest of the world, he's a disaster. You're quiet! And she's a dummy. Ow! You were one sick puppy. But together... Hey, don't do that. You weren't so shy when you were creating me. You weren't so real. They make magic. Oh, look at him with the dummy. Who are you to criticize? And that new stock boy. And I just want you to keep an eye on him for me. I think I'm going to handle things my own way. All the girl mannequins disappeared from the windows last night. Film at 11. Yes, my dear, your favorite. She is gone to get him! <laughs> You are magic. He's talking to the dummy again. Andrew McCarthy, Kim Cattrall. You know I would never bother you when you're getting a piece of wood. Mannequin. Yo, people be watching like, yo, what the fuck is that? Like, this is my ass is off. Yo, that was uh, the trailer for Mannequin. Uh, yeah. Starring uh, Andrew McCarthy, Kim Cattrall. I love Kim Cattrall. She's awesome in this job. Yo, let me, I'm not, we're going to keep on going, but let me just say something about Kim Cattrall. Kim Cattrall has one of the best comic wits as far as beautiful actors. Natural. It's natural, natural comic natural. wit. Right. Like, right. her in this, and her in uh, uh, Big Trouble in Little China, oh, yo, oh, Kim Cattrall that. is awesome. Right. That's, I remember after, when I, when Sex and the City came out, right. I was like, I was into, into her. And people, and I remember the chick I was dating at the time, she was like, oh, you just, cause she's a sex fan. It wasn't even about the sex. It's just, she's a funny woman. Right. You know what I mean? She's, a, she's an absolutely funny woman, but that's just me. Kim Cattrall, you know what I'm dicking. One of the James Spader was in this, who also uh, starred as Ultron in Age of Ultron, the new adventure movie. Right. So if you want to go back and check that, that's James Spader in that. Uh, G.W. Bailey. From Police Academy. From Police Academy. Mahoney. 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 <laughs> he played in this, man. This was filmed almost entirely in Center City and okay. primarily in the John Wanamaker building. They went all over the country trying to find the best looking store and they had to sell it to Philly just because yeah, listen, John the John Wanamaker, they got the light show, they got the oh, eagle there man. and everything like that, man. Exactly. It was dope, man. It was a really dope location. And I, I saw this in the theater to my mom. You lucky. As a kid. Man, and I, 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 I love this movie, man, because I was seeing all the little Philadelphia landmarks. I was like, damn, I know that place. I know can we right like, at yeah, all the time down the town all the time. So I was like, damn, this is a really dope flick, man. And it pumped three million dollars into the city. According to Wilson Good. According to Wilson Good. How much Good. it really made. <laughs> you don't know how much he pocketed. Shout out to Wilson up. Good, you my man. So. <laughs> damn, that was Josh. Jiggle. <laughs> <Jiggle. laughs> Hey, you know they made six mannequins to keep the trial, like actual plastic jugs of her body, so that's why it was all different types of shapes. Oh, you know, that's a whole other story right there. That's a whole other story. That's a whole other thing in my hand on them kids to kill mannequins, you know what I mean? I get vicious. Nah, I'm joking. I'm joking. I don't mess around with mannequins. No pills, no potions, you know what I mean? How about that? <laughs> so, uh, but that mannequin was, is a classic Philadelphia film. That was definitely a classic Most Philadelphia up. film. You gotta check it if you have not checked it. The next film going on, what are we doing next, man? What we got on the list? So uh, many we got so many Jones on the list. We did, uh, Brotherly Love, we did Mannequin, we did, uh, we did do, um, We're not doing that yet. We're going to do, uh... Yeah, it was called Buying Six. Nah. Twelve Monkeys. Whoa. Twelve Monkeys. You monkey. <laughs> stuttering monkey. You monkey. Mumbling, stuttering monkey. So we're going to drop into Twelve Monkeys and film freaks will be right back. Check out the trailer. You're a very good observer, Cole. We have a very advanced program, something very different. An opportunity to reduce your sentence considerably. And possibly play an important role in returning the human race to the surface of the Earth. So 
license, no prints, no warrants. Take him down! When he took on five cops like he was destined to the eyeballs. What year is this? What year do you think it is? 1996. That's the future, James. Do you think you're living in the future? I am simply trying to gather information to help the people in the present trace the path of the virus. We're not in the present now. This is a place for crazy people. I'm not saying you're not mentally ill, I'm for all I know you're <laughs> crazy as a loon. The army of the 12 monkeys, they're the ones that spread the virus. Monkeys? He's been living in a meticulously constructed fantasy world, and that world is starting to disintegrate. You haven't become addicted to that dying world? No, sir. He needs help. You think I'm crazy when people start dying next month? I don't belong here. You're here because of the system. I know some things that you don't know. <gasps> yes, my son. You sent me to the wrong year. You're certain of that? Science ain't an exact science. You had a bullet from World War I in your leg, James. How did it get there? I don't know. You're a trained psychiatrist. You know the difference between what's real and what's not. You said that I had delusions. You said you could explain. I'm trying to. I want the future to be unknown. I can help you. Get you out. Monkeys. The thing mutates, we live underground! They're watching you. I just want to do my part to get us back on top in charge of the planet. Yo, that was 12 Monkeys. Right? <laughs> Proven court. It's nice when the system works, right? The machine, how does it work on a good day? It's designed to be pain free. You can't fight fate. Now they get to watch you suffer. <laughs> In fact, you might want to cancel the rest of the week because you're going to be busy. Release me. Or I kill everyone. You think your wife and your daughter would feel good about you killing in their name? My wife and daughter can't feel anything. They're dead. We kill people. 
He figured out how to do it without ever being in the same room. If Clyde wants you dead, you're dead. It's gotta be biblical. Seeking representation. Do you want to sue Wyant, Wheeler, Hellerman, Tetlow, and Brown? I was diagnosed with AIDS eight months ago during a bout with pneumonia. What was that in your forehead, pal? Uh, Andy, everyone in this room is your friend. I misplaced an important complaint. That's their story. We've been talking it over. Your future, that is. And we feel that because we respect you so much, we must be honest with you. Excuse me. Am I being fired? Would you accept a client if you were constantly thinking, I don't want this person to touch me. I have a case. I don't want them to even breathe on me. If you don't want it for personal reasons. Thank you, that's correct, I don't. That's very disappointing. Sir, wouldn't you be more comfortable in a research room? No. Would it make you more comfortable? Back it, how you doing? Counselor. Did you find a lawyer? There's going to be things said at the trial that are going to be hard for you to hear. I want to know everything about his personal life. What deviant groups did he secretly belong to? I didn't raise my kids to sit in the back of the bus. Is Andrew Beckett the kind of lawyer who misplaces crucial documents? An excellent lawyer. Andrew Beckett is dying. You were impressed with Andrew Beckett's work. Andrew Beckett is angry. What powerful force has caused him to change his mind? And he wants someone to pay. TriStar Pictures presents... The law's been broken. I just want what is fair, what is right. You remember the law, don't you? A Jonathan Demme picture. So let's talk about what this case is really all about. Did you fire Andrew Beckett? 
because he had AIDS. The general public's hatred, our loathing, our fear. In this courtroom, Mr. Miller, justice is blind to matters of sexual orientation. We don't live in this courtroom, no, do we? Tom Hanks. I love the law. Denzel Washington. Are you gay? Objection! In a story about our lives. Oh, no, today's a good day. Our fears. And they brought AIDS into our offices. And our humanity. We hate this case. Philadelphia. That was the trailer. Philadelphia. 93 drink, man. 93 starring. Denzel Washington starring. But the crazy thing is, I saw this in the flicks on a date. She's saying a date. I just want to 
wide. 